these animals look like something out of this world. Their ancestors were around before dinosaurs roamed the Earth. They're jet-powered, and most can change color. But these are no aliens. We're talking about cephalopods. We're gonna join Nate, curator of fish and invertebrates here at the Aquarium of the Pacific, so we can find out exactly what it takes to care for these aquatic oddities. Cephalopod is a type of mollusk. The word is actually comes from a Greek meaning head foot, and they contain species like cuttlefish, octopus, squid, nautilus. These animals have unique abilities of changing color and texture for camouflage and to avoid predation. They have tentacles with suction cups where they can capture and hold on to their prey, and in some cases are very strong to be able to open the shell of a clam to, to feed on it. They're some of my favorite. They're very bizarre animals. Bizarre may be a bit of an understatement. And because they're a little more unusual, they can also be a difficult animal to look after. Cephalopods are sensitive, they're intelligent, they're challenging to care for. We need to make sure that they, they have everything that they need for their well-being as far as food and a safe enclosure, but we also need to stimulate them mentally. Some are, are social, they need to be in groups. Others we need to do uh, enrichment or share with them something that, that challenges them to keep them from being bored and, uh, and, and uh, physically stimulated and mentally stimulated. The work doesn't stop there. Besides the extensive care they require, cephalopods also pose other challenges for the staff here at the aquarium. The challenges of keeping cephalopods are, are many, but most stem from the fact that they're very naturally short-lived. Most live less than a year, some live more, but that, that means to, to display them in an aquarium setting that we always need to be hatching baby cuttlefish, baby squid, behind the scenes and rearing them up so we can ensure that they, they, they have animals to share with the public. And their dedication to cephalopods is evident through the many peculiar species we were lucky to meet today. The Aquarium of the Pacific has been perfecting this work for over 20 years. But still, the aquarists tell me that the best part about working with these animals is that they're so diverse and distinct, you can learn something new just about every day.